as Fulham press again inside the Crystal Palace half. They've worked it back into their possession. Aluko let it run, did well there, found Matt Smith. Back it goes again now to Ryan Tunnicliffe, who's got support on the left-hand side. Here's Sessignon, wanted to go up against Joel Ward, gets the outside, lays in a low cross. That's great play by Sessignon. In comes the outswinging corner into the penalty area, onto the penalty spot, in fact, it dropped, and Damien Delaney got the ball away there for Crystal Palace. Back heel from Zahar was beautiful. He found Andros Townsend to try to rake it forward there to Yannick Balassi. It was beautifully worked by Crystal Palace for a moment, and there's warm applause around the entire ground there for that, because the back heel from Zahar was absolutely glass. But in the end, Fulham deal with the danger, and they come forward themselves on the halfway line. Here's Kearney. They certainly don't look overawed for them in the early going. Kearney now coming forward up to the edge of the centre circle. Plays it back inside his own half for Mardle. Mardle, whose move was made permanent in the summer. One of the men brought in by Slavisha Jakanovic to just bolster the squad. And there's Aluko going beyond one defender. That's a great run by Aluko. Out it goes now to the left-hand side. Sessing on crosses. Matt Smith header straight to the keeper, Speroni. Great work there, though, from Fulham. As uh, Aluko tries to get something going with a bit of trickery on the halfway line there for Fulham, but it's cleared away by Crystal Palace, who've eased themselves into the game a touch in the last couple of minutes here. Zahar down the left-hand side, up against the defender. That's a good tussle between him and Adoy. Zahar's got himself inside the area, got the shot away, blocked away well in the end there, though, by Thomas Callas. Goalless at Craven Cottage. This the last pre-season friendly for Fulham. Of course, uh, it's a couple of weeks yet before the big kickoff for Crystal Palace in the Premier League. But here's Zahar down the left-hand side, up against Dennis Adoy. He's gone beyond him here, gets in a low cross, just needed a touch, and it was nearly provided by Jordan March. Terrific work by Zahar down the left-hand side. Dennis Adoy is going to get a real workout today from a winger with a real point to prove maybe at international level as well. Just worked himself the yard of space to get the low cross in. And Jordan Much was inches away from opening the scoring there for Crystal Palace. Here now a chance for Fulham. It's great work by Ayite. No shot. Great save by Speroni. Ayite worked himself the angle. Right-hand side of the area. Low shot back across goal. And Speroni was alive to the danger. Good save by the keeper. Terrific work by Ayite. Fulham have it again on the halfway line. Oh, lovely turn by Adoy. He's gone clean beyond Punchin there. He almost applauded that bit of skill there, Jason Punchin from De Dennis Adoy. That was terrific. Now it's worked to the left hand side. Here's Ayite. Sessing Young just back behind square for him. Then it's tipped back in field for Tunnicliffe. Good football this from Fulham. Played on the overlapping run for Sessing Young. Gets in the low cross. It's cleared away by Dan. Out for a throw. Lovely football there, though, from Fulham. And now Kalas has it once again deep inside his own half and gives it square to Mardle. Mardle, then forward again. The pace of the game has just stepped down a touch here as Fulham try to walk it forward, and they do so neatly too. And here's Sessing on the left-hand side, touched in for Matt Smith. Smith, edge of the area, goes beyond two defenders, gets in the shot. It was always going wide in the end then from Matt Smith, but it was a good effort off the left foot. Just got himself a yard of space away from Scott Dan. And it's given away here, real chance for Fulham. Matt Smith inside the area, great block in the end by Delaney. But the referee, I think, has given a free kick right on the edge of the area here. The ball was picked off quite brilliantly there by Fulham. Matt Smith had the first chance. It was blocked away by Delaney. But in the end, the referee's gone back for the free kick. McDonald was alive to the situation. Terrible bit of play there by the Crystal Palace defence. Fulham won't mind that. There are seven in the Crystal Palace wall, plus Wilfred Zahar standing a couple of yards away from it. Who will it be for Fulham? It's Tom Kearney, low, and it's in the end blocked by the wall. And Palace have it down their right-hand side. Now up to halfway, it goes through Punchin, then to Yannick Bagassi, twisting and turning away. Oh, that's brilliant from Bagassi. He's gone beyond three defenders, lays it back behind square for Andros Townsend. Support comes from Jordan Much. In comes a low cross, back post, header by Zahar, is wide of the target. Well, that was a lightning-fast counter-attack then by Crystal Palace, and that really was a quite wondrous bit of skill by Yannick Bagassi. There is some real pace to this game when both sides put their mind to it. Ten minutes now to half-time, and here come Fulham on the counter. Through the centre it goes. Chance for Aluko. He's onside. Round Spironi must score and does. Sonny Aluko on his home debut marks it with the opening goal. Ball given away by Pape Suare. Fulham on the counter said thank you very much. And Sonny Aluko made absolutely no mistake. Round Spironi taps into the empty net. It's Fulham 1, Crystal Palace nil. Absolutely nothing Julian Spironi could do about that. As calm and as cool as you like from Sonny Aluko. 
brought in from Hull City in the summer, and that's the reason why. Terrific finish there by Aluko, and Fulham lead with nine minutes to go to half-time. Miguel Yedinax at the back post, so too is Scott Dan. It's drilled in towards that back post area, over the head of Dan, who maybe got a flick on the ball there, but it's cleared away by the Fulham defence. And in the end, Ayite gives it back to Tunney Cliff, who hammers the ball away to halfway. Collected there by Joel Ward for Crystal Pangis, who rakes the ball high and hanging back towards the left-hand side. Joranen comes. That's a fine claim. He really has had a fine first half, Jesse Joranen. And that nearly brings us to half-time here. The 45 minutes up on my watch. Referee looks at his, and he agrees. There goes the half-time whistle. And there is very warm applause around Craven Cottage, and well, there should be. Fulham lead by a goal to nil. The goal nine minutes before half-time. Tom Kearney picking up possession deep inside the Crystal Palace half. He fed the ball forward to Sonny Aluko, who rounded Julian Speroni. And Fulham have played very well so far in this opening 45 minutes. They lead Crystal Palace at half-time here by one goal to nil. Fulham in their traditional white with the black shorts and the white socks. Don't forget that very distinctive red stripe now. Running across the home strip as well. And we're off and underway at the start of this second half with Fulham leading by a goal to nil. Sonny Aluko strike nine minutes before half-time. Here's Townsend, gets the ball back from Joel Ward. Townsend with four defenders surrounding him, finds a ball out to the right-hand side and Ward again, tight by the touchline, about 15 yards away from the corner flag there. In comes an in-swinging cross, a beauty, which was nearly touched home by Jordan Much. History repeating itself there for Crystal Pagas in this second half. Much nearly on the end of a cross in the first half there. Beautiful delivery by Andros Townsend. Whipped in a delightful left-footed cross, in swinging to the back post. Fulham have the ball back, though, inside their own half. Good defending there in the end by Kevin McDonald, but McDonald nearly gave the ball away there. One back tigerishly in defence, though. McDonald who's played so well in this game so far. Lovely ball to Kearney over the halfway line. Slide rule pass there from the former Wolves midfielder. Now Aluko's able to spin and turn away from trouble and slide the ball to the right-hand side. Here's Adoy. Adoy's got some space to take on Soiree. Instead feeds it square to Aluko. He in turn thought about leaving it there for Kearney, but then thought better of it. And back to the right it goes and Adoy again. Adoy has the angle for the cross and it comes back post. Speroni spills it. Matt Smith stabs it goalwards. It's an almost comical goal, but Matt Smith will not mind in the slightest. The Crystal Palace legend Julian Speroni has given him a gift. Matt Smith says thank you very much and Fulham have doubled their advantage and they could well be on course for victory here now. They lead by two goals to nil. Matt Smith doubling Sonny Aluko's goal in the first half. Well, when the cross came in from Dennis Adoy, you really did think that Julian Speroni had that covered. He's played for Crystal Palace with such distinction throughout his career. But that's a moment that Julian Speroni will not want to have back. But Speroni experienced enough to put that to the back of his mind. Will um, clear the ball away for Crystal Pagas, who trail Fulham here by two goals to nil. Joel Ward down the right-hand side for the Eagles, up against Floyd Ayite. Ayite gets the better of him, puts the ball out of play for a throw. Pagas tried to come again as the ball is lofted forward here for Wilfred Zaha. Zaha with his back to goal, lays it off for Connor Wickham, tight angle back for Zaha, let it overrun him and it shot wide in the end, that was a guilt edge chance for Jason Punchen it should have been 2-1 and Jason Punchen may wonder if it was taken off his toe there by Wilfred Zaha Punchen tries to set Pagis again on the front foot here Fulham leading by two goals to nil Andros Townsend down the right-hand side, faced up by two defenders. Sessignon's one of them. Townsend gets a yard of space for a cross in nonetheless back post. Zahar tries to reach it with a header. Appeals for handball, not given. Zahar on the turn gets the shot away. Eventually blocked away by a Fulham defender. And it goes out for a corner as the Crystal Palace players appeal for a penalty inside there. I think they were wondering if Thomas Kagas's arms stretched out to palm the ball away from Wilfred Zahar, but the referee was having none of it as we... I'll wait the change now. Fulham, of course, with just the four subs. And Scott Parker is the player coming on. Ryan Tunnicliffe, the player making way. McDonald gets it back from Kearney. Now back behind square to Parker. Here's Kearney once again, upended by punching once again. But it's worked down the left-hand side to Sessignon. 
Sessignon faced up by the defender Joel Ward evades it back behind square to McDonald once again McDonald lovely pass for Parker on the slide rule inside the area Parker went for goal near post was entitled to do so but drives the effort into the Hammersmith end out for a goal kick but lovely ball in there by McDonald trying to get themselves back in the game here here's Keshi Anderson trying to spin and turn from the edge of the area, left-hand side, oh, lovely touch by Aluko, brings the ball clear, but it's won back by Pagas deep inside the Fulham half. Danger here for Fulham, but it's a teased away by Sessignon. That's cool and calm from Sessignon as well. Took a touch away from a defender, or a, a pressing player, I should say, then cleared the ball away to halfway, but Ayite can't keep hold of it. The ball is coming back a bit too easily at the moment. Here's Keshi Anderson, real chance to make it 2-1, and he has. That is a brilliant finish by Keshi Anderson. Ball chipped over the top by Mile Jedinak, and Anderson showed real bravery there in between two defenders. Knew he was going to get a real clatter there by Jesse Joronen, but he nonetheless, off the left foot, has put Crystal Palace back in the game. 11 minutes to go here, and it's Fulham 2, Crystal Palace 1. Fulham lead by two goals to one, though. It'd be a really good morale boost for Fulham to win this game too if they can hold on for the final four and a half minutes they played very well today lots of encouragement here for Slavisha Jakanovic two very well taken goals as well here they come down the left hand side and Sessignon can they put the exclamation point on this now Sessignon's done brilliantly tries to work it inside the area comes back for Kenny with a drive just wide of the target bit of a kerfuffle in midfield gives the ball back to Fulham here's Kenny able to take advantage of that from Crystal Palace to Christensen on the left-hand side, taking on Martin Kelly for pace. Almost got a yard of space there on him too as well. Instead played it back to Kearney. Keep ball here from Fulham. Christensen gets the ball run this time. He's got a shooting chance maybe. It might break inside the area here for Ayite! Just over the crossbar. They've sent Martin Kelly forward. They've sent Delaney forward. They've sent Dan forward. In it comes back post now, headed back by Mardel. Delaney puts it back inside the six-yard box. It's headed away again by Adoy. Up to Ayite. Ayite sprinted away from Chung Young Lee, and away he goes down the left-hand side. It's three against one. Ayite up against Williams. Ayite still going into the area. Chips it in back post. Oh, it's just a bit too strong in the end, but it's tapped back for Parker. Real shooting chance. Beat Scott Dan. Here's a chance for Christensen. They're trying to walk the ball in. Cleared away, back to Ayite, that's 3-1! Floyd Ayite wraps things up and puts the cherry on the cake for Fulham. They had several chances to wrap the game up. Parker shot charged down, back it came for Ayite, and off the right foot, he slams the ball home. And Fulham go into Newcastle in six days' time on a very big high.